with two gems that Lyft went out and purchased of his own accord as a thank you gift. Aww. Both of the gems are meant to be socketed into weapons. first gem that he hands you, he tells you, Master Telfer, I thank you for bringing me back and giving me a second chance at life in the tavern that I have loved and that you have been an excellent steward of. As a thank you for the first, the first of my gifts is this gem that will bestow the gift of frost to a melee weapon of your choice. Ooh. So what kind of melee that we found? Oh, you have a venom dagger, and that's it. Yeah, as far as a melee weapon, that's the only melee weapon I have. Okay, um, then in that case, um, it's not a gem. He hands you Ooh. a frost brand rapier. Ooh. Ooh. When you hit with an attack using this magical sword, the target takes In freezing temperatures, the blade sheds bright light in a 10-foot radius and dim light for an additional 10 feet. Uh, when you draw this weapon, you can extinguish all non-magical flames within 30 feet of you. This property can be used no more than once per year. Or, I'm sorry, once per hour. <laughs> once per year. <laughs> well, there are some items that are like that. Actually? <coughs> are they back? and being all like, oh, this hallway is lit with a bunch of torches. Shing. All the torches go down. Sneak, 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 sneak. The second, I, the second gift is the gem. To be socketed into your crossbow. And it lights stuff. That will make, your crossbow is a plus one, right? I have the plus three wildwood weapon from Willow in the wildwood. Oh, that's wood. right. <coughs> For my hand crossbow. Apparently it collapses and everything. I thought you only had a plus one crossbow. I used to. Yeah. I forgot once. that you had got the wild wood weapon. Yeah. Okay. So he just his gift is just the crossband brand right here. Good enough. Which is fairly massive. What was the other thing? Uh, it sheds uh, bright light within 10 feet, and it sheds dim light within 10 feet. That's like my sword. Hers is like Neil from Game of Thrones. Instead of piercing, it's poking damage. Yeah, it's poking damage. <laughs> Hooray! So, and, and there, every table in the in Troll Skull Manor has a small paper lantern, oh. and the paper lanterns are cut into the shape of um, so the the current month is Eliasis and Eliasis uh, equates to August in the real world and it is the festival of the high sun fall is right around the corner however when you came in early this morning you noticed that there was a bit of frost on the ground and uh, he tells you that um, they have, in your absence, because you guys have been gone for a while. This, yep. this last trip, you guys were gone for a bit. Probably at least a week or two. Um, or a 10 day, rather. He tells you that they, have, in preparation, because they know that the Sea Maidens Fair parade is going to come right was thinking that this is probably going to drive a lot of business our way. Um, he thought, you know, why not use this as an opportunity? And so they have done decorations. Him and the wear racks have done uh, decorations type of bread that normally you only see in the town of Red Larch which is in the Desterin Valley, east of Waterdeep. And it is called uh, Cornerstone. And they are essentially 
Um, they're a dense bread. Um, typically, when you think when you think of cornerstone, you think of uh, lamb, but cornerstone can be um, spruced up, and so they have made it's made it's like a cornbread, and so they have made cornerstone um, with berries in it and honey, and um, they even made a a meat version, a meat pie version of cornerstone. Um, so the, the where rats have been, uh, she originally was from uh, Red Larch, and so they are bringing that. Uh, and, and you know that the festival, according to what you're not sure when that article was written, but you know that the festival of the High Sun um, is going to occur today. Sun to come up, which is a really strange thing. <laughs> well, it's the high sun, meaning the yeah. hottest day or the hottest section of the sun. Just the <clears throat> right, right. Yeah, no, you know that it's going to happen today. You're not sure what time. Well, I'm sure that the uh, where rats know. So all of uh, a long rest. It's cool. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, and everyone got thirty four gold, by the way, from our tavern profits. Oh my. There you go. I need to spend mine. Thirty four gold. It's time for us to make a bank. Or do something. It's, it's getting ridiculous. Have ten thousand. Yeah. We should use our money to buy a safe and put our money in. We already have a safe. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> 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 Yeah, just a walk in safe. <laughs> so like I said, there is a um, there is a bank available in Waterdeep. And and this bank actually offers something that no other bank offers. If you make a deposit in this bank, you can travel from here to Daggerford, and when you're in Daggerford, you can go into that branch, and your money will be there magically. Um, they're talking about possibly expanding their service as far south as Baldur's Gate. Banking with style. Beast. And, and then there's no master. And then there's no master. 
Yeah. I have a hard time focusing on the displays. Uh, and you notice that there's, there's a large cage that has a large polar bear. Just a normal polar bear? Normal polar bear. That sounds strange. Like something I want the, uh, I mean, it is strange. What do you mean? Everybody make a perception check. Yeah, it's been super cold and frosty out. And now, Here, right and now, during the parade, the weather seems to be back to normal. Uh, it's a 95 degree day, which is a Cancels oiling himself up. Uh -huh. Again, <laughs> a message. A message for you, sir. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay. When do you throw this? Have a good night. Um. Shortly after I do my business expenses and after I've had time to read the newspaper, but probably before the parade. Okay. One of the things that uh, Telfar did is he was conducting his after after seeing this bit. Here's the, the broadsheet, because there is some interesting info there. Ideally, it would be in some kind of thieves' camp, just to more double, than likely yeah. to, to double secure it. I know it can only be opened by the person it's addressed to, right? Magically, but I feel like once it's opened, it should be kind of unintelligible, not to you know like thieves. Thieves can't be. No, no, no it's, it's all right. I folded it very hastily. It's not my best. <laughs> I was just like, well, for effect. You guys, go ahead and read that. It is. It's well, sometimes you, it'll go together, but two magnets will be opposing each other, so it's one side's not really sticking real hard. But it is a bunch of puzzle. You can make weird shapes with it and stuff like that. So the first thing we've got here is the brawn anvil from the delegation from Mithril Hall is the one screaming pirate. I think someone will be assassinated. Baron Braun Anvil. Okay. So he's a dwarf. Braun Anvil. Braun Anvil, and he's screaming, "Damn those pirates!" Uh, yeah. Which and then we got Laryl Silverhand, the Open Lord of Waterdeep, going, "I don't think it's the pirates." Yeah, it's not pirates. So that guy, the pirates. Right. And the Black Staff of Waterdeep says, oh. "It's a bad weather." Right. Aha. Uh -huh. So we've got the dwarf from Mithril Hall screaming pirates. We've got the open Lord of Waterdeep going, nah, nah, Luskin's one in the Lord's Alliance. And then we've got the Black Staff going, I don't know, probably bad weather. Okay. And it was the Black Staff. So they sit down with Zardoz. Yeah. He's grown quite fond of our Troll Skull Manor. Hooray! He put in a good word for us. That's fine PR. We got some we got mentioned on the front page. Thanks, Zardoz. Yep. I'm talking about like it. Good friend JB Nevercott. Who the hell's JB Nevercott? Sounds like one of those fake uh, uh, writer names. Oh, it, he's the haberdasher that provides <clears throat> Zardoz with all of his very fine hats. Mm, parade. Start in the Sea Ward. They're gonna go through the Sea Ward, the North Ward, the Castle Ward, the Trades Ward, and end back in the Docks Ward. <coughs> On your 26, you see a carny who is dressed in. Your 26, you see him take the end of the, the tip of the blade of his scythe. And he reaches over and goes Chook! and hits the hasp on the cage for the polar bear. The polar bear busts open the door, leaps out, 
It takes off running down the street. Hmm. On your natural 20, you can hear way off in the distance coming from the seaboard. You can hear the sound of the watches. The watch is blowing whistles and ringing bells. And you can see on your 18s, you see a number of city watch hear this and turn and run up the street past the parade towards the seaboard. Oh, we should probably... This, they are not paying attention right now to the polar bear at all. But we're in the castle ward, is that right? You're in the north ward. North ward. So we're the second stop after the sea ward on the parade. Correct. Okay. Okay. So the polar bear didn't put a ball anywhere. So the north ward, the north ward, bulk of the, the population in the north ward are all servants for people in the castle ward. And so a lot of times people will be coming and going start the food or prepare the, the manor. Well, the hospitality industry folks. More or less. These would be the, the wait staff that don't live in the manor. Towards the seawater, are like, go towards the whistles and the bells. Right. I want to chase the polar bear. You what? I want to chase the polar bear. Okay. Why do I chase the polar bear when we don't chase the guy who released the polar bear? Yeah, my whole thing is... I didn't see who released the polar bear. He's the one that saw who released the polar bear. I'm going to chase the polar bear. No, go. Cool. I'm actually going to secure that. Yeah, we need someone who's going to tap. I'm going to separate. Telfar is going to shoot straight up in the air with his owl wings. It's the middle of the day, right? Yeah, bird wings. I never get to use the bird wings. And uh, straight up he goes to get kind of a better view of the sea ward and see if he can see anything from an aerial point of view. Okay. Uh, that... There is a uh, small shop way off in the distance where these city watchmen are, uh, several of them are congregating in the front of this, this shop. In front of a shop? Do I see And they, oh. they seem to be forming a blob shop is down Different in the dock ward. This shop is about two blocks away from the uh, Temple of God. Gone. Where you had uh, right the, the the mechanists. Good, still quite a ways away. What can I see in the sea ward? How is that different from the dock ward? Like, is it coastal? so the sea ward? The, yeah. <laughs> like, I, sorry, I forget the the map of Waterdeep. So Anthony really knows is that at the top. Right. That's me. So sea ward is at the base of that peak. It's at the base of that mountain. And when you, there are rich neighborhoods up here because they have a view the that looks out over deep, deep water bay. So they're like a, a terrace up. Yes. They're they're physically like they are physically high, higher high. above sea right. level than the dock ward. Right. Got it. Cool. So that makes yeah. More the sense. dock ward's all the way at the bottom. Right. It would be at sea and level. And believe it or not, the dock ward isn't the crappiest part of town. Now, yeah. What's the crappiest part? So, uh, like Southward. <laughs> Southward's pretty shitty. It's, Southward's a lot like Rockwood. If, if I look out <laughs> towards the... Coming in, you can... Were equipped with cannons? Or, like, is there a style of ship that's, like, you know, like trade ships that um, might not be well-armed? I don't know how... Like, what does is, what is that seem like? Cannons are... I'll, I'll tell you that I'm, I'm concerned. I mean, man, man there, I don't know. It, be, Waterdeep being the, the large city that it is, um, it's what the traffic for ships that you see out in Deepwater Bay um, is not unusual. Death, the one that opened the cage. Yep. Got it. Okay. Maybe he accidentally when did it. This all blows up and we have to figure out what's happened. It would be nice to have a live body. I did not expect you to do that. <laughs> it's you know, we have that lead cellar downstairs that's like totally scrying proof and can't be found I'm kind of deal. If Bob is, uh... 
be nice to have our, our pit fiend back. Yeah. Well, what happened to the... I mean, or we could just keep re-killing him. What, the pit fiend? No, I mean, like, we could kill him, and then I could revive him. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That would be Alternate torture. Yeah. He's definitely in on it, so I want to get him. I figured Shamish is going after the polar bear, right? Oh, I am. Oh, okay. I'm thinking the dude in the middle is the target, and those two things are distracting. I don't think I can catch a polar bear. I just don't have that kind of movement. He has the best movement. So, I know that. Uh, Narte is going after a polar bear. Is anybody going with Narte? Uh, someone should, but no one is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that camaraderie. Hey now, hey now. Well, I mean, do you want me to make a perception check to see him take off after the polar bear or see what my comrades are doing? Because so far as, you know, this thing is like a vantage point. He's his main goal right now is to see what's going on to get it gather as much information as possible. But you know, I move fast with my bird bird flappy wings. I want to stay somewhere in the vicinity of our first school man in case somebody's trying to burn us down. I want to ride the polar bear. I want to ride the polar bear. <laughs> you ride first. I'm just saying, I'm flying at it, and I can go faster than you. I might be able to land on it somehow. What's your flight speed? 60. Nice. You got the boots, I forgot. This is a... You just see you hauling ass, ducking between people like... Like a motorcycle. I bet it feels like there's a just slide between his legs, just like duck. What you call a distraction? Yeah, they're pretty cool distraction. What you feeling like today? I feel like nachos. I don't feel like a sandwich. What's distracting from Me what? Me too. Not just him. Because the polar bear is supposed to be. Uh, since they happen at the same time, you can't tell. If the alarms had gone off first, and then the polar bear, the polar bear would be the threat. Mm -hmm. I mean, sounds like there's like I don't know. Sounds like they, there's two distractions then: the polar bear and the alarm. I think they're trying to get their hearts away from the person who's in the parade on the bird thing. So then they can go attack him. I'm not going to fish him in the middle of the air. Also, they're giving him something that way. Yeah. But the bad stuff sounds super hot. He's completely unguarded. We can't stop it. We're going to handle it. Like, it's how well can you handle okay. animals or so, the animals or something like that. Animal handling. Everybody roll initiative. <clears throat> Ooh, yay! Sick. Death turns around and sees him. Okay. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just on the street. I don't know how to do If I can get around him and come from behind. You're gonna have to plow through the crowd. I will do that. Sorry, are you moving? Good and uh. Go ahead and make your attack. Uh, Yep. If he's just a day laborer, that guy 
eyes in deep trouble. <laughs> deep doo doo. It's like, going up the I was picked up in front of the Home Depot. Yeah, I'm a level zero thief. I was paying one gold piece to unlatch the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll pay your sister thousands of gold, but we need to kill you. Because <laughs> we want XP. <laughs> You get one for killing a colonist. Uh, six, twelve. That's one more towards the level. Yeah. Just threw a deep away. Why? Fifty-two damage. Okay. Never liked that one. Which one was it? The one I've step. ever owned. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have another one. Uh, Aaron's five eyes just one get side. super wide, like. Holy crap, look at that! Oh, 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 That's no vagrant! <laughs> oh, 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 man! It's I actually was about to yell, we need him alive! 24! Hit. Yeah. Is that hit? Just an FYI. It does. 19 hits, then 24 hits. Oh, I, I don't know that, no. so... I'm also Maybe. going to... Uh, so I'm going to do just a level 2 to one. turn, he uses a legendary action. Yay! And dun, dun, dun. <laughs> steps into the shadow of the float and reappears. He's up, you say. <laughs> Narate, you take off down the street Just chasing off the, the polar bear. Yes. See, I told you, you were right. I was I'm dashing. dashing. You're dashing? I'm dashing. Okay. You can want 120 feet. 120. Okay. Oh, she has the boots. Yeah. I have the magical boots. He is boots. whizzing in and out of traffic, zooming between yeah. carts and food he's vendors. A, he's a dwarf. He's a dwarf. Here, here. Here. Well, he might be short, but he's sturdy. I mean, he's a dwarf. He resembles that remark. Admire my shiny thing. Okay. They're very pretty. Um, so how how fast can you move with dash and turn? What do you mean? 120. 120? Okay, so you're not stopping for anything. It is crashing up to it. What are you going to do? I hmm, didn't think that far ahead. Yeah, no, <laughs> I didn't catch up that fast. Um, well, you used a dash, so that's we'll, yeah. we'll get back to you. Okay. Think about what you want to do. That's, that's what people Thrift, what are you doing? Sure. Um, You're still back in front of the manor. Don't kill the polar bear. Oh, I was, I was gonna follow him. You're gonna follow Anthony? Yeah, I was gonna okay. follow Aaron when he was oh. saying, like, God, that kind of remember. Right, yeah, you're still down at the parade. Oh, so, okay. So, in front of Trollskull Troll Manor. Okay. So, what would you like to do? Um, did he just see the thing that went down with Mr. Death? Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna go follow up for that, like, the figure and everything. You do what? I'm going to go uh, to where, like, um, they were chasing to find Death and everything. Okay. And then did, would I see him on the roof? Yeah, you saw, you saw him hit, oh. <laughs> hit the guy twice, and you saw the guy step into a shadow and reappear on a balcony. Um, 90 damage. Uh, how high can I climb? 
Uh, do you have a yeah, I only have a swim speed. Bolt. So you would have to make a strength athletics check <laughs> to climb. <laughs> Lizard folk cleric climbing the side of the building. It's going to look like something out of the video game Rampage. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh <my laughs> Reaches into the window, pulls out a calmer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. My twin. <laughs> Soft one. <laughs> <Whole> one. <laughs> Soft uh, one. Okay. So. Under the the platform that he's standing. Well, I think they're concerned. That's not fair. I don't have a legendary action. Because you're, you're not, not legendary. legendary. Oh, this guy's bigger We're getting well, there. We're building our legacy, so we can. The build reason legendary. why you're facing a legendary guy is because you are pretty legendary. So. Uh, uh, you can expect to see a lot more of these. Man, not legendary enough to get mentioned on the front page. Of Troll Skull Manor. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I went and had dinner with his ass and personally invited him to the manor, and he blames the haberdasher. Or, sorry, oh, he's, he's a thoughtful friend. I haven't. He is the drum. JB never cuts. Everyone is the same person. Come on, you can do it. Think it through. Never cut. JB never cut. Did you get it? JB never cut. Yeah. And you didn't even get the thing immediately. I didn't get it immediately. You're right. But thanks, Chris. <laughs> yep, you're welcome. So wait, is this draw we're fighting? Jarlhawks with the I don't even know who that is. Uh, neither do I. This is not Jarlhawks. Okay. Uh, Jarl Axel doesn't appear as himself a drow without the boots and the hat and all the accoutrements. He is. Ah! He's one of the. Um. There's a lot of stuff about Jarl Axel. Yeah, that you he's, guys may he's not got do. his fingers in every little dirty every pie. pie. Every little dirty pie he's got his fingers in. He's the drow godfather. Yes. More or less. He's also a leader of a... They're, so they're in the in Men's of Branson being female from houses that have been dissolved or uh, destroyed. Yeah. Um, they have... There's no hope for them. And so Jarl Axel has created a, uh, a mercenary company called Brigand de Arth and of all of these disenfranchised male drow. Um, he goes in there by and, all the dominatrixes. And even though the matron mothers know about Brigandi Arth, they don't do anything to stop Brigandi Arth because they are, Brigand is too uh, valuable to them when they need to hire troops and their house doesn't have enough Brigandi Arth supplies. And Brigandi Arth in the truest sense of the form. Um, so on Thrick's turn, so Thrick is hanging underneath this this balcony from under the awning. You'll be able to get up onto the awning. Telfar, what would you like to do? I want to see if his 18 has figured out what he wants to do with the bullet ray yet. Uh, so you can see what's going on directly below you. Not, you can not see down the alley, and you like 120 feet down sure. the alley, you can see where he is caught up to the polar bear. And then way up the street, like another six or seven blocks, you can see the watch. Right. Well, he, he passed. He was going to think about what he was going to do on his turn. Right, because he, he dashed. Right, right. So he had no action. Ah, okay, okay. That makes sense. Um... So I've seen it all. Yeah, you can see pretty much everything. Um, how many feet away am I from? Isn't that the max range on my hand crossbow? Probably demon that is floating out off of the balcony that's given Thrick the stink eye. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, no, drow are bad. I'm gonna shoot a drow. You're gonna shoot a drow? Oh, I, well, yeah, that one. Okay. 
Um, did he see me? Does he? Uh, Do I get sneak attack advantage? Or whatever. Yes, you would get sneak attack. He's within five feet, even though he's under it. Yeah. Right. What I'm doing, just climbing up the <laughs> side of the building. Yeah, you know. Balls to the wall here. I, I should have set up a different battle map. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to go balls to the wall either. <laughs> I figured um, we were going to get some moot that was made and, and, and question. So that's a 19 to hit. Yeah, you hit also a Behind a gutter or a chimney. Okay. Something that's sticking up on top of a house where you can't see me. Oh, I'm gonna re-roll that. I'm gonna use my second luck point of the night <laughs> to re-roll that. Hold on, I gotta keep my luck. Two. You are probably for the little bit. Yes, you are. Shadow steps again off of the roof or off of the balcony, back down and right in front of Shamish, and he's going to make two attacks with his shadow. Uh, oh, the guy attack? Yes. Mm -hmm. First attack misses. Definitely. Second attack misses. You are so lucky because he is at disadvantage. Sunlight? Yes. Oh! Not 20. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. No? 26 for Aaron. Not 20 for me. Okay. Good. And Zardoz has jumped off of his, this this large bird that he's riding, and is taking cover behind one of the floats, and kind of ducking down, trying to stay out of sight. Aaron, what would you like to do? Um, well, well, I figured that this is a is this halt normal or more there's, like there's a combat game. going on in the middle of the crowd, so it is a normal. And, and you can hear gaffs, you know, like, oh my god, there's drow in the city. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, so, this, uh, the drow, I saw was our ally go up the side of the walls and there's Yeah, he's, boots, ha there's some he's hanging from beneath the It looks like a solidified shadow with wings. Right. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to Close with uh, the drought and wail the crap off out of it. Okay. And uh, let's see. So, step one, close. Step two, attack. Boom! Critical hit. <laughs> nice. And now, with critical. Hey guys, just uh, to let you know, the kitchen's closing a little early tonight with the. Alyssa. I got, I got an okay. order for you guys, yeah. Thanks. Well, 
I've been, I've been to die. Um, my much despised searcher god to uh, give me a bonus action to wail on this guy again in a frenzy of hatred. Okay. And I was 28 to hit, which will we'll yep. hit. see that Shamish and Aaron are in combat with glaring at threat. Okay, so Zardoz is leading the um, the parade, and he had jumped off, and he you can see that he's crouched down, hiding behind one of the floats. I have to have Nautilus resilience to be on. Okay. What does that do? Little pink sphere around him, nothing can get through. Yeah. All oh, right, it's the thing where he can't do anything, and nothing can hit him. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, he's just stuck. It's the Pally Bubble from World of Warcraft. Yes. You can't do anything, and nothing can do anything, and everyone's okay. just stuck. Okay, so you cast Audulin's Resilient Sphere on Zardoz Zor. Okay. If he wants to, he can roll around at You know, I see Zardoz Zorn the same as like Seifod Beaver Brox. Basically, that that's what I think of every time, except yeah. with more hats. Yes, more instead hats. of more heads, it's more fancier, hats. Ha fancier pants, more hats. Yes, but that's that's the guy I imagine. So the shadow demon to make an attack on. Honestly, the shadow demon is not nearly as scary as the drown. Shamish, what would you like to do? Okay, cool. I'm going to try to attack me. He's going to get slaughtered now. I'm doing uh, something I haven't done before. Non-lethal. Non-lethal. That's something you haven't done before. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I got him. You can't ask any questions if he's dead. Yeah, we're just this guy would probably... We have money. I'm gonna we do have money. <laughs> How's a nat 20? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna do. Series five. Okay. Which is like a lot of d6. A lot of double d6. Oh, double d. Uh, and it's only 500 gold. For the diamond. Yeah, that's nothing to it. Yeah, all in a day is worth that one. Where are job for me. I could work for the OLCC. D&D. &D. 
Ha 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 To it and trying to try to get in its way. You can try to get in its way and like you know, hey, whoa now, whoa. Or you know, yeah. you can try to grab it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make a you need to make a grapple check because you're gonna try and grab it. Okay. Act like a wounded. You could run in front of it and go the whoa now. Bear got a whoa soft now, one. Bessie. The polar bear got a soft one. Oh god. And grapple is a. God. Who's the tougher Wait. thing? That's what a grapple is. Twenty-one. You got a twenty-one. Okay, so you you grab onto the bear. Go ahead, and make. You are too far away from my twinga to want to help. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> my twinga is still just ah, we're in the air. Twenty-three. <laughs> DC was twenty. Okay. Okay. So you grab this bear and kind of whip it around. And I'm going to feed it. It has a big iron collar around its neck. Okay, it's I'm off. going to. Um, but what is it that they call them in, in a Traveler? There's uplifted. Like one of the pirate crews on a on a starship, act, they actually travel with a an uplifted ape. <laughs> so it has like human intelligence, but it's it's an ape. Mm -hmm. It's been I'm, uplifted. Uh, right, I'm gonna feed uplifted. it the food. I'm, I'm gonna feed it food. Okay, so like some of your rations or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Whatever jerky he might happen to have in his pocket. Yeah. Okay. So you have changed the oh, course. Thrick, what would you like to do? Uh, did the demon disappear? No. Uh, I'm gonna climb up onto the. If line. anything, the demon now appears to be uh, more free in its action. But I just got here. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. He only got enough. 
Yeah, he failed. Uh, yeah, yeah. The shadow demon is banished back to its home place. <laughs> I'm free. I'm not free. Well, it saw the world for like five minutes. Uh, second. Yeah. Is that your base? Okay. So, everything calms down. It was my turn next. I wanted to go find Zordaz and try to... So, yeah, you know... Glowing pink bubble. Yeah, he's in a... He's rolling around like he's in a... Um, a hamster cake. We gotta get that bastard inside the tavern. He's panicking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm, that's what Telfar wants to do. Figure out how to get you out. This way, this way. I decapitated the uh, dude. Two of the 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 town or two of the city watch come back just as you come out of the alleyway with the polar bear, and uh, <clears throat> um. You come down to Zardoz, who's still in the bubble. Are you going to stop concentration on other Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so he, Zardoz is is uh. He's being protected against his will. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we call it corporal cuddling. All right, corporal. Oh, <laughs> uh, he 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 had legendary. Now we got to get this guy inside. We'll start talking questions and answers once we get everybody indoors to the scrying proof basement. Okay. And uh, also, to, to try and do the two of us to try and deal with the polar bear, thank you so much Can I have for taking care of that. With the polar bear. We're going inside, no more questions and answers it's until okay. we get to the shrine proof basement. And we also yeah. can heal the dude that we kind of just decapitated. Yeah, no, we can't do that. <laughs> I don't have regenerate. <laughs> The removal of the head was a problem, my friend. Yeah, doing that much damage was a problem. Yeah. Oh! I mean, we have to be good. You chose <laughs> not to punch him with your gauntlet. Oh Instead, God. you I cut his fists. fists. All you have to do is go, non lethal! And then. Uh, <laughs> I cast Fireball! Non lethal! It's like the, the, the oldest oh. spell in the realm. I cast Magic Missile, non lethally. Yes, so all the missiles hit him sideways. Oh. <laughs> yeah, excellent, thank you. That's a super bonus Even plus. Thank you very much. So you get back into Troll Skull Manor with Zardoz, but Zardoz won't fit through the wall or through the door because he's trapped in the sphere. Push, push. <laughs> and then get some butter. <laughs> We're rats. Heave. <laughs> Heave. So, Scallion. Absolutely. And he, he comes in he, into uh, the manor. And uh, what do you what do you guys want to say? Give him a beer. I have an idea of what to say. I want to offer him a drink to calm his nerves. Yes. Can sir. we please adjourn to our very safe, scrying-proof cellar? Sure. And maybe we could have a few words about what just happened and where we go from here. Oh, definitely. Please, right this way, mind your head, the stairs are a little janky. <laughs> and down into the keg cell we go that is lined with lead and exclusively this. For money to have this room. Answer your question for assisting in dealing with that dastardly drought. Yes, you may keep the polar bear. No money at all. No. <laughs> Yay! It, it's a gift. Thank now that that speaks very well to his credit because you know, man, now we are, are maybe a little more sure that that wasn't part of his plan. These are very rare animals. Yes. Quill will uh, scan the area for any kind of magic to see if we've got scrying devices in here before we just shut the door. We use our guys' heads to solve. Okay. Uh, so are you just? Is he just casting detect magic? He Detect magic, and he's checking everybody to make sure we're not carrying something in. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? I think that's detect all. magic on the room. Detect magic on each person that yep. enters the room. Protected, nice. Okay. Uh, Zardoz is and it's gonna make it hard for us to figure out whether he's telling the truth or not. We're back to normal humans. 
instead of superhumans. Superhumans that have the power of gods. Tilper is going to ask a couple shard shunners to keep watch outside the cellar door. Yeah, we've closed this. <laughs> he's got horrible male pattern baldness, and he's using that illusion and the hats. That explains the hats. Okay. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Have fun, guys. Uh, Inter yeah. Interrogate him. Telfar is going to look the think other way. Think about what you want to ask Zardoz. Is it mean parts of a corpse in the cell? Well, no, the parts of the corpse are not coming in this. Place. He's not going to bother. No, they're they're going to be in the. Yeah, there's no reason to keep them in the. Uh, Can we talk to the dead? So it's either not dead. You guys can deal with the corpse parts we just and do whatever. I want his weapon. I'm yeah, taking his weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Anything with, with these drow always is that a blade to spell. Oh, Anthony, you have spare paper. It's a spell that I use, actually. The one that does like, like a full sheet <laughs> of spare paper. Yeah. Bring it to me. I have numbers on the back of it. It's fine. Whatever. Get banned. This is my scrap. So, we found magic on this guy, and he's an illusion. Not reading his mind, he would have detected his magic on a little item, like an annular mind shielding or something like that. But instead, it's illusion. Sarah? So, this guy is. Suspect. Oh, yeah. I can't read his mind, and there's not a yeah. person, is it, that think about can it. block their mental oh, thoughts without an emulate of mind shielding or Although you do 
you eventually die from starvation. Oh, yeah. Cool, yeah. Not if you have great food. <laughs> I guess you can't stop the I mean, meteor would probably just crash and I hate it. crumble and you'd still end up in this massive crater and everything, but it's like a robot. Well, I'm not like I do. I Everything that he wears gives him some kind of something. Well, I, I bought you a container of water. I know. I didn't think I'd want water. Then you'll use your hand in the back. 133 stars within 50 light years. <laughs> That's trash. I don't want to buy more trash or ask for more free trash. Sorry. 133 eyes. So, I'm just saying that it's really strange that you can't read his thoughts or hear his thoughts. You can't detect any magic item that stops it. Because unless you've got a brooch of mind shielding or something, or helms or something like that, and yeah, none of that's showing up. Do we have any way to detect whether or not I'll let you guys know my little winged message was actually to Jarl Axel Will the spell magic work on his fancy hat and boots and all things? This secret suspicion that draw Axel Bane Ray the end. No. In any event, we should probably just proceed with caution. I don't think we can take him out ourselves. Yes, we can. It's like, he's boss level. Yeah. Boss level for sure. So if we lock ourselves in. He's a well-protected individual, no matter what. So who all is going into the basement? Uh, not Is me. anybody staying in the tap room? I'm going to st stand right by the door and listen. I'll stay in the tap room. Okay. okay. With my parents. With the were rats, because Telfar's like, hey man, don't let anyone bother us. This is an important meeting. And I think if someone walked in trying to rob us and saw that cool Will's job is to oversee and keep the... Okay. He's the janitor. I'm going. It's there. there. I'm going. They're there. So you are both going down. Down. And you I'm, you're I'm going down, and you you two are staying up. Okay. No, oh no, I I'll go in instead. You'll you'll go down. I'll go down. All right. If he's in there, there's plenty of mass. I'll stay up. Okay. <laughs> so you two, the, you're you're at the watchman and the captain of the watch come walking into the tap room. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. We're closed right now. Well, this will just take a moment. We need to 
Good, good work handling that drow out there. Let's go talk outside. We're, 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 we're still worried about threats. From uh, did you see... Polar bear, he's like, it, that, it's safe to be here, right? Yeah, I've got it under control. Um, did you have to notice anybody come running up here? No, the parade came by. I noticed that a parade performed. And the polar bear took off, and our friend here. a drow and killed him he released a, in the fight released a devil which our our team sent back he says well no. the reason that, that I ask is that it seems that <clears throat> shortly after the, the parade made its way out of the sea ward the the map house was broken into. Is that what those alarms were? Yes. Uh, the the map house is the guild house for the uh, guild of surveyors, map, and chart makers. And uh, it's very odd. The only thing that was stolen was a topographical map of the trackless sea. Um, are we going to have to go the water? Uh, one of the guild masters. And uh, he says, uh, it, I mean, it, they're of course up at arms because without that map, they're going to have to start completely over for whatever it was that they were doing. But I don't understand any of it. But it's a very strange thing to steal. Very much. It is a strange thing to steal. A very good reason. Raid a city in the middle of a festival. Yes. When a bunch of guards. It seems that they use the parade as some kind of diversionary tactic. Always. Our guess, if you happen to run across it, um, our guess would be that these hoodlums made their way down to the dock ward. If they're going to do anything with an undersea topographical map. You can't really do much without a boat. Hmm. The parade was used as a distraction. We've got Jarnaxel. No, what's his name? Zardoz. Zorn. Oh, Zor Zardoz. You Zardoz should, is, you should uh, just like casually was, acci accidentally just. Zardoz was him. right out front. He's, Mr. Bader, he's inside. We're, we're calming him down until that, we're sure that all the threats are gone. Uh, and then we're going to have any questions. But he was the one who was in charge of the whole parade, right? Yes, yes, yes. He, he, the Grand Marshal of the Sea Maiden's Fair, but he was here. He was nowhere near that. And, and he was in he was in front of the parade the entire time. I don't see how he could have run. Who hired the guy that op opened the uh, polar bear cage? Who arranged to have the polar bear cage so easily unlocked? Well, that would be that would be up to him. I, I We don't know anything about that. But again, thank you so much for taking care of that dastardly rogue. Quite right, my good man. Now we, just to let you know, we did put stone. <laughs> Dolbar wants to make a charisma check to be all like, look, Zorny, baby, I'll help you out here, but my goodness. It doesn't seem to fit with what she's trying to do, but. If that doesn't work, I'm intimidating him. It's. Higher ups, we've had dinner, we've greased the proper hands. And you Your know, people have talked to my people, our people have talked. If the drows have loads of money, I mean, business is business. That's just. True. <laughs> All right, so the charisma check is seven plus two. Uh, so. So what are you asking him specifically? Specifically, in character, I am.
them doing like the showbiz jargon lingo. Like, come now. We're all reasonable businessmen with many assets to protect. We're more than healthy. More than happy. Sir, nothing is going on. I, I don't and told them to hire as much help as they could because this was a much larger parade than, than the Sea Maidens Fair is normally capable of handling. And they hired helping hands off of the docks. Is there any particular reason why that white bear should have been released in the middle of the parade? That I don't know. I don't know what a drop made with a polar bear. Polar bear. Yes. Yes, uh, we... I thought it was some kind of albino. No, no, it's a polar bear from far to the north in the sea, near the sea of moving ice. I spent no, I spared no expense in trapping that bear. Lost three good men trying to capture it. Well, I appreciate that you would just turn it over. Well, it seems to have taken a shining to your dwarven cleric. And he's Um, he says, well, that is a possibility. Um, why don't you join me tonight on my, my, uh, on my command ship, the eye catcher. Uh, come again. You, you and Shamish and Narate have already had dinner with me once on my, on the eye catcher. Why don't all of you come? We'll have dinner and sure that we can give you some reasonable recompense. I work suit. No less than cordial of us to bring a couple of barrels of our finest wormwiz. Oh, wormwiz, you say? Wow. Mm, indeed, the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if that's what you want to call wormwiz. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, we'll totally arrange a meeting on his boat and discuss things and bring. Which is in the Undermountain and everything. And uh, we've set up a trade agreement for some of that delicious, delicious worm whiz. For the drunk people who wants cheap, yeah, it's, cheap, it's cheap. Well, fuel. yeah, it's super cheap. The, the cheap tavern malt that, liquor. that Aaron and Telfar bought, Wormwiz was their premium item because their tavern was for kind of the lower class. So, our tavern being what it is, we feel it's only just in his memory that we serve Wormwiz, of course. You, of course, have higher, higher... Uh, but, out of respect for Froon... True. Out of respect for Froon, we have adopted the primary source for Wormwiz Ale, and we are now accessible for the layman. Which means we have a shitty beer for poor people. It's a, it's a tradition, too. We have, yes. We have pictures of everybody who's drunk this stuff. Up on yeah, the it's, it's yeah. like a picture of an ostrich with a beer glass stuck in its neck, yeah. you know. And there's a list of the people that actually lived through it. Yes, yeah. yes, indeed. And it, it's a tradition. Whenever anybody comes for the first time, they have to get they get one of those for free. And they yes. So... <laughs> A rowboat and uh, a man will bring you over to the eye catcher, um, which is docked a mile out in uh, deep water bay. Do you have to wear some skin eye stuff? Not necessarily. Oh. I mean, yeah, I'll knock on the door. Probably not a bad idea. Okay. And someone should probably shoot a. Eh? I bang on the door. Uh uh, something bad. You were you were gonna He's quit, Chris. You were gonna quit. But we got three more minutes. Yeah, oh, we have five. 30 minutes. Oh, there we go. Something actually worthwhile. <laughs> what does Armor of Agathas do? Armor of Agathas? Yeah. Um, whenever they hit you...
Casting the spell magic at third. Third. Make a make a um, spell casting ability check. Good stuff. Can't go too hard on the high and sand side. She rolled a one. <laughs> he <coughs> cancel goes to cast a spell magic on uh, Zardoz as he's climbing up the cellar colored sparklers come out of his finger as he points it at him. And Zardoz looks over his shoulder and goes, Oh, I love a good light show. And then climbs up and says, Oh, well, just so they know is the tonight for dinner. And uh, he says, I will see you there. Hopefully, uh, right now. Yeah. I wait. <laughs> um, you detect neither evil nor good. That's the worst type. That's 99% of the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it means he's fucking neutral. <laughs> he's not another plane. Don't we'll murder uh, someone if the pay is good enough. Yeah, maybe he might be evil, but if he's paying us, I'm fine. Alright. Okay. Very, very cool. Let's give uh, Telfar a check uh, a second. Okay. <laughs> So your dispel magic turned into a sparkler, and then what happened? He really likes light show. Yes, he likes sparklers, and then. Absolutely nothing. I'm telling you, that's Jarlax of Bane Ray. I'm telling yeah. you. He can cast it on the ship. I'm trying to make it. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. All this stuff. You can end up just going the entire ship. It's kind of. It's just the. I'm really annoyed. Do we get it as an aspiration? Is it there? Do I get it as a plus eight? Oh, no. I didn't do it as a spell. I just. Well. That's a bummer. very mad that it's been away for so long. You can make Anyway, next time we have little time, I'm gonna do. I think I could buy that at Carlos. Where is the self-packed bond as a visual? For an hour, we would all be able to sell some of the magazines. You just have to turn it the right way and then it'll be. Or lock your minis in there. They'll be completely safe except from, from the hard walls. If you put a inside inside of that little hole and then you throw the whole thing, you don't know what you want. Actually, that's a good idea. I'm going to try that. You just have, I have a telepathic link. So a lot of What's up? Yeah. Oh, 
Norte and Aaron, do you tell the rest of the group what the captain told you? Oh, yes. Yeah, we're going to meet down in the uh, lead line room and talk just for a second. Okay. Now that he's left. And we'll oh, go down there and we'll say, okay, so the all stars are playing it. Apparently, the guards that came up believe that this whole thing was a diversion so that they could break into the, uh, I don't know, the Maritime Museum or whatever the heck that thing is going to be. The map, the map house. house. The map house. And uh, steal the one of a kind map that they've been producing. Of the, under the impression that they had hired uh, a woman with a measurements and map uh, and to help them map the full the sea floor of this particular area out beyond uh, Deepwater Bay and uh, to map the floor of the trackless sea. So. I find it extremely interesting that they wouldn't even make a copy of such a map. If it was important at all, you make like three at the same time, like someone who's making it just come over and start drawing, and you got three other just novices, like, oh, this is the time to learn. If it's a Monday map, now if it's a magic map and it's got some sort of weird features, Thorin's map or something. I mean, if it's just a regular map, would have no one in the The yeah, guards aren't known for being extremely This is really This is really bad. You mean the rod of leadership? Yeah. We're gonna call it the enslavement. Stuff. I'm with you, Carl. Oh yeah, buddy. Nothing is. Good. He also was willing to trade it. That's the that's the worst part. He was willing to trade it for like a few why didn't I know you were so persuasive when I was ready to ask, hey, come on, Zorny, baby. No, no, no. This is a rod of this is a rod of rulership. Oh. So once per day, everybody within 120 feet that can see him when he uses the rod, he can make a check and they get a save. And if not, they think he's the greatest ruler ever. Mm. So you wade into the middle of a goblin army and then just use Yeah, for an entire day. No extra saves. That's yeah, no, just for 24 hours. These guys follow so everything that he says. So you have the ability to be all like, Come on! Rally the people! Let's go! Fight he against the injustice! In fighting that drow, he could have raised that rod and commanded everybody to defend the city and the whole crowd would have assaulted this drone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I forgot about it. I was like, oh, Broski, I you gotta use your epic yeah. business. When you can get when you get on the ship, you can bring your little glass, you know, while everybody's eating to get everyone's attention and say, Oh, I, I have a post and then zap them all while they're staring at you. I'm <laughs> Brilliant. So that evening, you you head down to the docks, uh, heading towards the uh, Heartbreaker and the uh, Eye Catcher. No, nope. the Heartbreaker and the Hellraiser. Hellraiser, yes, which are docked at it appears. Um. A thick fog unexpectedly rises out of the water, engulfing vessels and docks alike. As the gray miasma thickens, the creaking sound of ship ships becomes increasingly haunting. Something you don't know. Crap! Okay. So you see. Decide to tackle just random people. That random drug dealers. 
rust sure. in there, unless there's something else. However, bat wings don't make much of a sound yeah. as they lift till far off the boat to we, follow the Are we things. on the boat or the docks? You're on the docks. Yeah. On the docks, then. And we're headed towards the meeting location? Yeah, you're heading. He told you to meet with his crews at the uh, Hellraiser and the Heartbreaker. And they would robo take you out to uh, the island. Okay. Till far is Make a perception. Me? Yeah. Oh, natural twenty. Oh. You take off to the air and kind of you you go up and you follow these three sh shadows as they hurriedly slink. And these guys are making sure to remain as out of sight as possible. Um, and they're moving in a military style fashion, uh, leapfrogging from cover to cover as they make their way through the fog. And you get up onto the onto the to a secondary roof, looking over an alleyway, and these three shadows come into this alleyway. And you the the first thing that you see at first a, a very shallow light hood up is that this this isn't just any woman this is Larry Silver and they they have a brief conversation with Laryl Silverman and one of them hands her a, a scroll and she opens it and reads it and rolls it back up and waves them off and the three drow gunslingers slink off back into the shadows and off into the fog, back towards the docks. Mm -hmm. And Laryl Silverhand turns and is walking away. What do you want to do? Alert us and to the I'd like to roll a stealth check. Okay. With my 27 stealth, I would like to alight stealthily on the ground right behind her. So, you quite quickly She says, um, Says, uh, well, in these trying times, especially with the way Dagult never ever left us in Waterdeep, we all have to keep interesting company. Yes, but do you keep good company? She says, well, what do you make of this? And she hands. Majesty Laurel Silverhand, the Witch Queen of Stormancer, Lady of the North, she of the Seven Sisters, Chosen Mistra, and Water. She's got a lot of names, y'all. Yep. Your spies are commended. Rest assured, my presence in your fair city is purely recreational. Though, if forty miles upon me, city of splendors in a sorry state, but you have done wonders to lift the spirit of the citizenry during your short time in office. Well done, Laurel Silverhand. I know how politics offend you, so forgive me for taking this opportunity to point out the obvious. We can both we can make both our cities stronger and strike back at he who robbed water davians of their wealth and dignity. 
I'm speaking, of course, of that dirty sack of rats, De Gault Never Ember. That's the phrase you used to describe him yesterday to the emissary from Mirabar, is it not? Oh, snap! Evidently, my spies are also to be commended. Why let Never Ember get away with his crimes against Lucian and Waterdeep? Can we be allies, if not friends? These are the questions that haunt my dreams, as surely I haunt yours. Sincerely, Che. 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 Axel. Rain Ray. The Bregan Death. Who apparently is also the leader of. Well, he really wants Luskin and Waterdeep to be friends! Well. He wants to do everyone. Lots of business. Literally everyone in the world is Jarl Axel. So Luskin. Yes, Jarl Axel is everyone. He's everybody yeah, all everybody. the time. He's everyone. He's all the NPCs. So Jarl Axel is running Luskin and, you know, from some level. And uh, he is well, from the other broadsheet. What was the deal with Luskin? They wanted to... Uh, the dwarves were saying, hey, look, it's probably Luskin pirates. And Laurel Silverhand is, no, they wouldn't be pirates. They're trying to join the Lord's Alliance. They want to be friends with us. So you guys know that <clears throat> Luskin is... Um, it, it is a hive of scum and villainy. Mm. Uh, Luskin is... Uh, everybody knows Luskin is run by pirates. Um, it is run by the ships. Um, there are five ships. Each ship is captained by a high captain. Um, the lead, the first captain of Luskin. All five of these ships, and, and when I say ships, they're not. We're not talking about a single boat, but they're just called the ships. They're fleets. Yeah, each ship has their own fleet. 